powered by cheapest premium domain name marketplace, www.brandmazar.xyz. Weirdest Marriage Custom In Africa, this video is brought to you by cheapest premium domain name marketplace www.brandbazaar.xyz. Do you know that in Dinka and Jing system of marriage, despite the expensive 100 to 500 cow dowry payment the place of a woman in matrimony is one that will envy a whole lot of women across various cultural divides. Women in this African system of marriage occupy a somewhat goddess-like place in the strata of its very unique nuptial utopia. In the Dinka and Jing culture, once a man gets married, his wife must not cook nor sweep the homestead for a period of four years, which is called, anyu, or generous welcoming. It's meant for the new wife to rest, relax and adjust properly to her husband's homestead values. During this period, it is her sisters-in-law who are saddled with the responsibility of cooking, washing, collecting firewood, fetching water and other basic home chores till the stipulated four-year rest period elapses. Immediately after this, her husband is bound by tradition to arrange a very big feast called the tot or cooking fiesta. Usually three or more cows and say five and upwards goats are slaughtered to celebrate the initiation of the wife into managing the chores of the home. From all indications it seems the place of a woman in the marriage strata of the Dinka and Jing tribes of South Sudan is one that looks too good to be true. So, as a woman would you love to come from the Dinka and Jing tribes of South Sudan? Do you know of other very captivatingly weird marriage customs in Africa? Post them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on both Facebook, YouTube and on Rumble.com via the Brand Bazaar Reel. Until our next video, keep reading. Powered by cheapest premium domain name marketplace www.brandmazar.xyz